हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाय गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू अवर चैनल द वॉइस ऑफ नर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कंटिन्यूस टॉपिक फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस वीडियोस दिस इज पार्ट थ्री वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड पार्ट वन पार्ट टू रिगार्डिंग फर्स्ट एड सब्जेक्ट इन पार्ट वन वी डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग रिलेटेड टू द फर्स्ट एड इंपॉर्टेंस एंड बेसिक्स purposes objectives aims detailedly explain regarding cardio pulmonary resuscitation how we have to do cpr in a critically ill person and emergency situations and also we discuss related to the first aid kit equipments and 30 questions in part 1 in part 2 we discuss from the 31st to 60 question we discuss in part 2 video now we are going to discuss part 3 today In this video, we are moving on to sixty-one to hundred questions. This is part three. We will discuss in detail about forty questions about first aid. Before moving on to topic, a small request, friends. Anybody watching first time my channel, please subscribe my channel. Click on the bell icon for further notification. Please like a video and share the video to your friends. I am requesting you, friends, please share your opinion in comment section. Let's move on to topic. Today topic is first aid question part three. We will discuss forty questions. Sixty one question to hundred. The sixty one question is dry bandages is done for. The dry bandages are done for. We will see here option option A to stop bleeding. Option B to prevent infection. Option C to promote healing. Option D to increase blood supply. Dry gauze dressings are often used with. Open wounds they help clean the wound and remove dead tissues also. Here the dry bandages reduce blood flow. Dressings may includes gas foam and transparent adhesive. Here dry bandages or dressings considered as gel dressings, zinc oxide based on ointment. So here the dry bandages or stops blood flow. Here option A is the correct answer. Here dry bandages will stop the bleeding here option a is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 62 what is s a m p l e this is not a sample not a related to the blood sample or tissue sample what about we are thinking related to the sample actually we all know what is sample but this is not related to the thing this is related to the other thing i will explain in detail before ex explanation of the sample s a m p l e we will see first options option a signs and symptoms option b allergies medication option c past history last oral intake option d events option e all of the above here s a m p l e is first aid acronym used for a person's medical assessment the question that are asked to patient includes signs and symptoms of the condition and allergies and medications past history last oral intake and events so here the answer is all of the above sample means s means signs and symptoms a means allergies m means medication p means past history l means last oral intake e means events so here all of the above is the correct answer signs and symptoms allergies medication past history last oral intake events this method s a m p l e sample method will help to gather all the information needed about the casualty and the accident scene casualty means not a emergency casualty means the emergency person those who are having emergency situation means victim here so here option E is the correct answer. All of the above. Next, we will move on to question number sixty-three. What is the first aid duties below have as a cabin attendant? Here, the cabin attendant duty in first aid. We will see here option option A. Reassure the passenger. Option B. Be aware of danger. Option C. Arrange a bed facility. Option D. Medical attention. Always check the danger and assess the situation quickly and calmly. Protect yourself and must ensure to remove any dangers from the casualty and prevent crowding of casualties by bystanders. Here we are having the seven steps in 
first aider as a first aider we are having seven steps we will see now what are these check for danger check for response open airway check for breathing check for circulation and monitor breathing these all are the main steps of a first aider so here the first aid duties below have a cabin attendant is be aware of danger here option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 64 What is the meaning of scald? S C A L D. We will see here option. Option A, a burn by fire. Option B, a break in body part. Option C, a burn by steam. Option D, none of the above. Scald is an acronym used to recall the important steps when assessing severity of a burn injury. Scald, S C A L D, means to burn with or as if with the hot liquid. or steam so here we got a steam so here option c is there a burn by steam but we will see additionally what is scald here burns and scalds both in same way but the burns is caused by dry heat for example iron fire these all are the example but a scald caused by something wet for example steam liquids or hot water so here what is the scald means a burn by steam option c is the correct answer here write down friends one thing i am going to explain related to this scald here s c a l d the abbreviation of s c a l d s means size c means cause a means age l means location d means depth so here the size cause age location depth this is the abbreviation meaning of the scald next we will move on to continuous question next question number is 65 which of the following can cause a stroke from the following option one is the cause of stroke we will see here options option a a blood clot in an artery in the heart option b a blood clot in an artery in the brain a blood clot in an artery in arm option d a blood clot in an artery in the leg so here the damage to brain from the interruption of its blood supply a stroke is a medical emergency so here stroke means damage to the brain from interruption of the blood supply is called as stroke a stroke is a medical emergency caused by blocked artery it is called as ischemic stroke or leaking of blood vessels it is called as hemorrhagic stroke so here we are having two types of stroke this is like ischemic stroke or hemorrhagic stroke so damage to the brain from the interruption of its blood supply ye stroke is a medical emergency it is a so here option b is the correct answer i didn't take here correct answer but write down friends the from the following option option b a blood clot in a artery in the brain it is called as stroke so here option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 66 As a first aider what do you do when someone breaks an arm means here the someone is having breaks at the arm the first aider what have to do what will do in that situation we will see here option option a put the bandage option b put the arm in sling option c direct pressure option d all of the above wearing a shoulder sling may be key to helping your arm or shoulder heal after an upper body injury or surgery sling might need to wear a sling after a stroke or elbow shoulder fracture so here sling will be used for the breaks and arm it is an important to use it correctly proper use prevents further injury and helps your muscle heal faster a sling supports the forearm it keeps an injured arm or shoulder from the moving so here it helps for the moving also so here of b is the correct answer put the arm in sling how we will keep the sling in arm bring the top end of the bandage around the back of a neck hold the lower end of the bandage up over the forearm to meet the top of bandage at the shoulder of injured side tie the two ends of the bandage together in rib knot above their collarbone and trunk 
in the free ends this is the process to banding the sling bandage here option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 67 which of the following should not be applied to a sun burn when we are having a sun burn or someone is having sun burn so in that situation what should not be applied to a sun burn we will see here option option a aloe vera gel option b ice option c petroleum jelly option d water do not use butter petroleum jelly other oil based products these can block pores so that heat and sweat cannot escape which can leads to infection so here we do not use the petroleum jelly here option c is the correct answer here one more thing remember to always consult a doctor if you have concerns about taking care of severe sun burn skin so here option c petroleum jelly do not use in sun burn situations next we will move on to question number 68 which kind of pain killer can help relieve pain and swelling at the same time so here some of the pain killers is there from the following option these pain killers will relieve pain and swelling at the same time which is medication from the following option we will see here option option a aspirin option b naloxin option c ibuprofen option d etambutol here ibuprofen is the correct answer ibuprofen is a non steroid anti inflammatory drug it works by reducing hormones that cause inflammation pain in the body ibuprofen easy used to mild to moderate pain and such as toothache migraine and menstrual pains and also here ibuprofen will reduce pain at the same time elevate the swelling so here option c is the correct answer ibuprofen will use pain killer as soon as swelling at the same time reduces the swelling at the same time next we will move on to question number 69 when you are taking care for a scissors victim which of the following we have to follow so here we are taking care of scissors patient means scissors victim which of the following option means here some of the option is there so when we are taking care of scissors victim which one we have to follow options option a try to hold the person option b use restraints option c remove nearby objects option d medication administration we are taking care of scissors victim we have to clean and clear the area around the person of anything hot or sharp objectives this is can be prevent the injuries to the victim here for the first aid for the scissors patient keep calm do not try to hold them stay with the client when they are fully awake remove the harmful objects near the victim or stand in front of dangerous areas such as stairways maintain lying position flat surface turn the head to side during the scissors activity so here we have to remove the objectives near by the victim victim has a scissors in that situation victim's clothes will tight means we have to loosen the clothing from the neck or chest and abdomen areas for the oxygen supplementation means if we are losing the cloth means the suffocation will reduces so here removing nearby objects from the victim so here option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 70 when a kid is gagging and cannot cry out or breath due to some marbles what should you do first here the kid is having gagging and cannot crying and there is no breathing due to marbles on this situation as a first aider what we have to do we will see here option option a perform chest compressions option b carry out chest thrust and back blows option c rescue breaths and chest compression option d none of the above it is gagging and cannot cry out of or breath difficulty breathing means in this situation we have to do immediately strike five separate times between the person shoulder blades with the 
heel of your hand carry out chest thrust and back blows abdominal thrust if back blows don't remove the struck objective give five abdominal thrust also so this is also called as hemlich maneuver this is also called as hemlich maneuver chest thrust and back blows is the correct answer here option b next we will move on to question number 71 which one of the following needs immediate first aid here some of the conditions is there he these all are the condition is the, we are giving first priority in the immediate first aid condition we will see here option option a heat stretch option b heat cramps option c heat stroke option d heat exhaustion here heat stroke requires immediate medical treatment if the victim having heats and waiting for a ambulance try to cool the person as much as possible by applying ice packs to the neck groins and armpits heat stroke is the most serious heat related to illness sometimes called as hyperthermia heat stroke is a condition characterized by over heating of body usually results of prolonged exposure to the high temperatures the signs and symptoms of heat stroke is confusion altered mental status loss of consciousness dry skin dry skin profuse sweating seizures very high temperature the first aid treatment put the person in cool shower in a tub sponge the person with cool water switch on the fan cover the person with cool damp sheet here in this question 71 question we already discussed in part 1 17 question in detail about symptoms of heat stroke and heat stroke related to the information is there in first part 1 17th question is there next we will move on to question number 72 elastic bandages are used for the elastic bandages are used for we will see here option option a allow circulation option b control bleeding option c control swelling and support the injuries option d decreasing infection here the elastic bandages example is crepe bandage for example for the elastic bandages or crepe bandages commonly made up of cotton or woven elasticated bandage crepe bandages or ideal to support the healing of sprains and strains provides good compression to the injured area to reduce the swelling and support the injuries so it may help the injured area feel better so here option c is the correct answer control swelling and support the injuries elastic bandages also called as tensor bandages elastic bandages are also called as tensor bandages here elastic bandages are used for the controlling swelling and support the injuries here option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 73 a victim has lost loss of blood through a deep cut in leg he is probably which condition actually here victim has loss of lost loss of blood through the deep cut in the leg which condition leads to we will see here option option a having heart attack option b having a stroke option c lung abscess option d shock here immediately call out for someone to get help or call 911 yourself elevate the wound and apply direct pressure for controlling the blood so here by pressing or by direct pressure we can control the bleeding from the area condition most probably hypovolemic shock this is condition most probably hypovolemic shock hypovolemic shock means hypovolemic shock occurs when the body begins to shut down due to the loss of large amounts of blood or fluids when the hypovolemic shock is caused by one of the causes of the hypovolemic shock is blood loss is known as hemorrhagic shock the hypovolemic shock is a life threatening condition here the victim has lost loss of blood through the deep cut in leg the condition he is probably option d shock is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 74 what is the appropriate first aid for a rape victim here what is the appropriate first aid we can provide for the rape victim option option a provide cpr option b administer medication option c treatment 
cuts and wound option d none of the above uh, condition rape rape is a crime not usually an immediate life threatening situation but sometimes it is life threatening situation if a rape victim is bleeding from a wound or any cuts we have to give a first aid by compress direct pressure and there is no injuries means we have to provide emotional support to the victim here option c treatment cuts and wounds is the correct answer here we have to provide a treatment for the cuts and wounds in a rape victim cases we have to provide a first aid to the cuts and wounds option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 75 what is the meaning of first aid what is the meaning of first aid we will see here option option a medication help option b medical help option c long term treatment option d all of the above first aid refers to medical attention that is usually administered immediately after the injury and medical help that you give to somebody who is hurt or ill before the doctor arrives or medical team will arrive the scene we have to provide a medical help here option b is the correct answer first aid consists of a one time short time treatments so emergency care or medical help is called as first aid so here option b is the correct answer first aid means medical help or medical attention or emergency care next we will move on to question number 76 what is the first aid management in a bee sting here what is the management of bee sting we will see here option option a administration of antibiotics option b pain medication option c remove the sting by sliding option d apply oil first aider have to remove the stings by sliding or scraping with fingers nails across it rather than pulling at it wash the area and apply cold pack to reduce the swelling if there is continuous significant pain and swelling medical treatment to be done most insect bites or stings will not need antibiotics simply apply a small amount of honey to the affected area cover the area with loose bandage or sterile bandage or sterile cloths wait up to 1 hour here the first aid have to do if a person is stung by a bee remove the stinger from the skin carefully do not squeeze the stinger since it will make more venom enter the body use the edge of a cord to escape the stinger off use soap and water to wash the sting off use an ice pack to reduce swelling and pain if the person who is having been stung in allergic to be venom take the person to the hospital immediately they need a medical attention and further care for the bee sting injuries here option c remove the stings by sliding is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 77 what first aid will be given to covid-19 victim here the victim is covid positive covid-19 positive victim what we have to give a first aid to them option option a direct compression option b cpr option c airway breathing circulation option d all of the above if the person bleeding somewhere means we have to provide a direct compression to reduce the bleeding next if victim is having hot beat is abnormally and sign of means patient victim is having cardiac arrest so then we have to check the respiration and check the pulse there is no pulse we have to start cpr here option b also we have to do victim having breathing difficulty and victim having breathing difficulty unable to take breath so immediately we have to provide airway breathing circulation so here all of the above is the correct answer in other word all client or any person is equal here 
द ट्रीटमेंट और फर्स्ट एड सेम एज एनी वन हेल्थ इफ पेशेंट विक्टिम इज हैविंग कोविड नाइन्टीन आर कोविड नाइन्टीन नेगेटिव कोविड नाइन्टीन पॉजिटिव इक्वल ट्रीटमेंट वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड एज ए फर्स्ट एडर एज ए नर्स वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड इक्वल केयर टू दी क्लाइंट इन केस कोविड नाइन्टीन क्लाइंट इज नॉट हैविंग एनी इश्यूज सो वी नो नीड टू गिव फर्स्ट एड टू विक्टिम इन केस द विक्टिम इज हैविंग कोविड नाइन्टीन पॉजिटिव एंड वी हैव टू गिव सी पी आर आर फर्स्ट एड टू पर्सन मीन्स इफ देर इज ए परसिव रिस्क ऑफ इन्फेक्शन रेस्क्यूअर्स शुड प्लेस ए क्लॉथ आर टवाल ओवर द विक्टिम्स माउथ एंड नोस एंड अटेम द कॉम्प्रेशन ओनली नोट ब्रीथिंग अटेम द कॉम्प्रेशन ओनली सी पी आर मीन्स कॉडियो पर्मोल रेजिस्टेशन एंड एर्ली डिफ्रिब्रेशन अंटिल द ऑम्बलेंस फुट द हैंड्स टूगेदर मिडिल द चेस्ट एंड पुश हार्ड एंड फास्ट हियर वी हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ अवर सेल्फ ऑल्सो सो हियर ऑल ऑफ द एबो इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट वी विल मोन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सेट हाउ इज फर्स्ट एड प्रोवाइडेड टू विक्टिम्स ऑफ डिजास्टर हू आर इंजर्ड here how we have to provide first aid to the victim in disaster situation we will see here option option emergency medical services option b mass casualty incident response option c incident command system option d triage tax and destination records option e all of the above here write down friends emergency medical services emergency medical services means ems here mass casualty incident response means mci next incident command system means ics option d triage tax and destination records also one of the disaster management here all of the above is the correct answer the first aid to disaster victim whether it is a man made or natural it is organized under the almost universal system of mass casualty incident response means mci this is usually led by the emergency medical services means ems and sector of operational branches of incident command system ecs the services includes triage treatment transportation and patient tracking triage tax and destination records so here option e all of the above is the correct answer first aid are provided to victim of disaster injured position situation we had to provide all of the above means ems mci ics all the triage tax and destination records next we will move on to question number 79 cpr ratio cardio pulmonary resuscitation ratio of chest compression to breaths how many compression we have to give and breaths option a 30 is to 2 option b 10 is to 1 option c 15 is to 2 option d 45 is to 2 here the cardio pulmonary resuscitation ratio is 30 compression and two breaths after each compression allow complete chest recoil the person becomes responsive continue 30 compression to breaths use an aed as soon as possible and as soon as available to rescue cpr means if the to rescue cpr means cpr child and infant will be 15 compression and two breaths so here the cpr ratio of compressions and breaths is option a 30 compressions to breaths is the correct answer here option a next we will move on to question number 80 what should be the basic medical or first aid given to an acid attack victim here the victim is having acid attack what is the basic medical or first aid treatment to the victim we will see here option option a flush out with cold water option b flush out with hot water option c clean with cloth option d apply oil cool the burn under the cold running water for at least 20 minutes flush the injured area with water rotate the stream of water so that the acid is flushed away from the victim's body and to the ground only use water do not rub and wipe the area we have to use the 
वॉटर कोल्ड वाटर नॉट हॉट वाटर हियर एज ए फर्स्ट एडर एंड बेसिक मेडिकल केयर वी हैव टू गिव ए एसिड अटैक विक्टिम फ्लश आउट विथ कोल्ड वाटर देन वी हैव टू कॉल एमरजेंसी फॉर दी फर्दर मेडिकल अटेंशन आर फर्दर केयर हियर ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट वी विल मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर एट्टी वन वॉट आर द मेन कॉजेस ऑफ डेथ एमोंग पीपल विथ सिवियर बॉन्स हियर द पीपल इज हैविंग द सिवियर बॉन्स मीन्स द मोस्ट केसेस मेन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस डेथ इज अकर्ड वॉट इज द काज वी विल सी हियर द सेप्सिस इज द मोस्ट लीडिंग काज ऑफ डेथ आफ्टर बर्न इंजुरी इयरली वन पॉइंट वन मिलियन बर्न इंजुरीज आर रिक्वायर्स मेडिकल अटेंशन अप्रॉक्सिमेटली फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड ऑफ दीज पीपल आर डाइंग विथ ए बैक्टीरियल इन्फेक्शन एंड दोज हु आर हैविंग सिवियर डिहाइड्रेशन ऑल्सो कॉज हियर ऑप्शन ए एंड सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर बैक्टीरियल इन्फेक्शन एंड सिवियर डिहाइड्रेशन सो हियर द कॉजेस आर सेप्सिस is 47% respiratory failure is 29% brain injury is 10% and shock is 8% so here the main cause of death among the people who are initially survived a severe burns here option d a and c is the correct answer means bacterial infection and severe dehydration next we will move on to question number 82 In first aid, bee sting can treat with vinegar. Here question is: In first aid, in bee sting, can treat with vinegar or not? We will see here option option A yes, option B no, option C sometimes, option D none of the above. Vinegar is acetic acid, so cannot be used to treat bee sting because bee injects acid into the skin. so base is used to neutralize that acid so here the first aid in the first aid b sting can not treat with vinegar so here option b no is the correct answer here related to the b sting we already discussed in the question number 76 in detail about b sting we already discussed in 76 question next we will move on to question number 83 What are the names given to three different depths of burns? Here we are having previously we already discussed related to the burns and degrees of burns. Here in this question names given to three different depths according to depth the burns name from the following options. Option A first, second, third degree burns. Option B minor, medium, severe burns. Option C superficial, partial, and thickness burns. Option D A and B. There are three degrees of burns: first degree, second degree, and third degree. Here, the first degree, second degree, third degree burns according to depth is called as superficial burns, partial burns, and thickness burns. Here, the super superficial burns is called as first degree burns, partial burns is called as second degree burns, and full thickness. Partial thickness burns is called as second degree. Full thickness of burns is called as third degree burns. These classification are based on how deeply the skin is burned. According to the depth of the burns is classified like superficial burns and partial thickness burns and full thickness burns. Here mention not mentioned here partial thickness burns and Full thickness burns also come here. Option C is the correct answer. Next, we will move on to question number eighty-four. What is your first action when a victim is suddenly collapsed? Means here suddenly collapsed victim is there. What is the first action as a first aid? Option option A check pulse. Option B check any injuries. Option C check breathing. Option D speak to victim and shake his shoulders. so here if someone is not moving and does not respond when you are calling them or gently shake their shoulders ask what has happened open your eyes shout like are you okay are you okay they are unresponsive or they are responsive it is okay they are not responsive so there is no response there is no 
pulse breathing is there means we have to immediately start cpr so here in this question the first action when a victim is suddenly collapsed means mean the time we immediately we have to speak to the victim and shake his shoulders we have to call them are you okay are you okay what happened we have to ask so here option d is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 85 What is the main purpose of emergency transportation technique when providing treatment to the victim here what is the main purpose of emergency transportation technique we will see here option option a administer rescue breath option b to relocate the victim option c treat the absence of breathing option d all of the above it is a necessary to transport an injured individual from an emergency scene to the safe area moving is important to transport to shift the victim away from the scene of emergency position is required for the cpr if patient is an collapsed or unresponsive we have to start cpr if immediately are needed and suspected neck injury or spinal injury moving is not allowed for the clients because further damage the spinal cord of the victim so the moving is not allowed in case of suspected neck or spinal injury so here main purpose of emergency transportation technique providing treatment to the victim is to relo- relocate the victim so we have to change we have to move the patient from the emergency scene to safe area here option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 86 what is tia what is tia we will see here option option a transient ischemic attack option b transport involve aid option c tracheocardia ischemic attack option d triple identify act tia means transient ischemic attack or mini stroke is caused by temporary disruption in the blood supply to part of the brain means lack of oxygen to the brain a type of irregular heartbeat called as af also caused by tia means the irregular heartbeat also called as atrial fibrillation so the atrial fibrillation one of the causes tia transient ischemic attack the warning signs for the tia transient ischemic attack and some symptoms like weakness numbness or paralysis to the arms legs and paralysis in the face and also garbled speech and double vision also there for the clients so here tia means transient ischemic attack option a is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 87 what is l i o n g l what is meaning of l i o n g l in first aid we will see here option option a location incident other services option b number extent option c location option d a b c here what is the meaning of l i o n g e l l i o n g e l means location incident other services number extent and location the word lionel l i o n g e l means location incident other services and number of casualties extent of injuries and also location the location should be key information for the emergency services first aider acronym l i o n e l is used to help first aider remember what information the emergency services will require when they are phoned when they are calling for the emergency they have to explain location incident other services number of casualties and extent of injuries here option D is the correct answer A B C location incident other services and number extent location is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 88 which of the following procedures would be the reducing the spread of infection from the option which of the procedure we have to follow through the 
procedures how we will reduce the spread of infection option a using the gloves option b cpr face shield option c mask option d all of the above all are the personal protective equipments the but personal protective equipments commonly used in healthcare settings such as hospitals doctors clinical labs and healthcare providers personal protective equipments act as a barrier between infections and materials such as viral and bacterial contaminations to the skin and mouth nose or eyes personal protective equipments like gloves mask gown goggles cap and cpr face shield helmet physical and electrical heat chemicals and by hazards also is there for the personal protective equipment here the procedures from the following procedures all of the above is the correct answer while using gloves cpr face shield mask these all are the procedure we have to follow through this following reduce we can reduce the spreading of infection all of the above is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 89 in first aid method p r i c e prize this is not prize p r i c e means we will see here option option a protection resolve infection control element option b protection rest ice compress elevation option c promote rest ice close elevation option d none of the above here prize means related to the musculoskeletal system we will i will explain here we will discuss now traditionally the first aid method of treating musculoskeletal injuries has been taught through the rice and price i will explain what is rice what is price rice means r i c e rice means rest ice compress elevation price p r i c e means protection rest ice compress elevation both rice and price principles have been adopted for a long time to help treat an injury with the first 72 hours of the injury here the goals of price and rice is control swelling around the injured area prevent further injury and reducing the pain so here the first aid method p r i s c e means protection rest ice compression elevation here option b is the correct answer not only p r i s c e price we discuss related to the rice also here r i c e rest ice compress elevation next we will move on to question number 90 what are the steps in chain of survival what are the steps is present in chain of survival we will see here option option a early access option b early als option c early cpr option d early defibrillation option e all of the above here the chain of survival recognition of cardiac arrest and activation of the emergency response system early cpr rapid defibrillation advanced resuscitation by emergency medical services other health care providers and physical and emotional recovery so here all of the above is the correct answer the chain of survival steps is early assess early als als means advanced life support early cardiopulmonary resuscitation early defibrillation as soon as possible or as soon as available so these all are the steps in chain of survival here option e all of the above is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 91 what is the recommended way of checking a circulation in emergency how we will check a circulation in emergency client we will see here option option a check pulse option b check eye movement and breathing noise option c while calling victim option d all of the above checking eyelids and the mouth windows to the circulatory system a further easy way to checking circulation is to check the color of the casualty mouth specifically inside their lower lips or tongue and by checking inside their eyelids observe breathing pattern check any noise or present or not if there is no noise we have to give a emergency first aid to the client so here option b check eye movement breathing pattern and noise so here option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 92 before covering a wound with a cloth what should we have to examine so here before covering the wound what we have to 
एग्जामिन ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए कॉज ऑफ वोंड ऑप्शन बी एनी फॉरेन मटेरियल इनसाइड ऑफ द वोंड ऑप्शन सी ब्लीडिंग ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द एबो हियर एनी कंटामिनेटेड वोंड्स नीड थरो इरिगेशन विद स्टेरल सेलाइन समटाइम्स सिंपल एक्सप्लोरेशन विल बी एनफ टू फ्लूइड एंड रिमूव द फॉरेन बॉडी वोंड ड्रेसिंग हेल्प टू प्रिवेंट इंफेक्शन एनकरेज हीलिंग एंड रिड्यूस द पेन एंड स्वेलिंग सो हियर before covering a wound with cloth or sterile pad or sterile bandage we have to we should examine the area any foreign material inside of the wound is there or not we have to examine and we have to cover the wound so here option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 93 what is sfa we will see now what is sfa option option a standard first aid option b self first aid option c source of first aid option d all of the above sfa means standard first aid plus aed here course is accredited by srfac this course main aim is provide medical emergencies and like severe breathing difficulties and bleeding with full of knowledge so here we have to provide with full of knowledge we have to provide as emergency medical care to the clients sfa means not only standard first aid but here we are having stress first aid also in this situation through the stress first aid recovery from the stress reactions we have we can provide through the first aid so here sfa means standards first aid option a is the correct answer standard first aid next we will move on to question number 94 how will the community receive information about a disaster here we are getting a disaster how the community will receive a information we will see here option option a cell phones option b family or friends option c local radio and television option d newspaper so here community members should establish and know their local warning system they will know through the local warning system in the event of a disaster local radio and television station will provide information on evacuation routes temporary shelters and other emergency procedures community itself act as a first responder before the external help reaches to the victim so here the community will receive the information about the disaster phase local radio and television and also the community member should establish and know their local warning system through the local warning system also they will know they have they have the information through the local radio and television also here option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 95 a person who has swallowed poison should first be treated by here the victim is swallowed poison should first treated by option option a calling an ambulance option b drinking water option c start cpr option d none of the above you are someone are has exposure call the local emergency number and local poison center can be reached directly by calling if the person not breathing get him or her fresh air right away in case poison on the skin take out of the cloths otherwise poison in eyes flush out with water 15 to 20 minutes we have to flush out with water in case of eyes poison in eyes mean that time ambulance and or medical team will arrive at the scene so here a person who has swallowed poison the first treatment to be done here calling the ambulance and also here the first thing we had to wash the eyes in case of eyes means we have to clean the eyes 15 to 20 minutes here the first step is option a calling an ambulance is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 96 what should not be done in case of fire in case of fire what should not done by us option option a switch on the light option b leave the building as soon as possible option c should open all windows and doors here always leave the building immediately turn off the equipments 
and lights turn off all the lights related to the electricity we have to switch off we should not switch on the lights in case of fire it may cause more damage and increase the risk of short circuit which is very dangerous open the all windows and doors but don't open the door which is behind the view because a closed door will limit the spread of heat and smoke it is act as a fire barrier including lift switches also we do not on the lift switches also i do not use the lift and use only staircase remember stay out in case fire is there we have to stay out of the situation and call emergency and press the fire alarm leave your things and save yourself so here we should not switch on the lights option a is the correct answer here next we will move on to question number 97 what is ice ice not is ice what is ice stands for in first aid we will see here option option a ice option b important care in emergency option c involvement of emergency option d in case of emergency here the point is to let emergency responders like police or fire or medical team check your cell phone and reach the people whom you want to contact if you are in an accident or other emergency ice means ice means ice means in case of emergency what here option d is the correct answer in case of emergency so recognize by emergency and contact with emergency medical technician for example fire cardiac arrest and also some of the emergency situation here ice means in case of emergency here option d is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 98 when should you give rescue breaths when we have to give a rescue breaths to the victim here we will see option option a continuous choking victim option b unconscious choking victim option c unconscious not breathing but has a pulse option d unconscious no pulse no breathing here rescue breathing is life saving technique that involves exhaling into the airway and lungs of a person who has stopped breathing when a person of any age has a pulse but not breathing immediately open the airway using head tilt and chin lift maneuver and give rescue breath here option c is the correct answer unconscious the victim when the victim is unconscious not breathing but has pulse we can give a rescue breath here in case the victim is not breathing does not pulse means the patient is unresponsive there is breathing and no pulse means immediately we have to start a cpr so here the rescue breath we can give unconscious client not breathing and pulse is present in this cases we can give a rescue breath so here option c is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 99 ye victim has a sliver in his eye what should do here victim is having sliver in his eye option option a what we have to do option a remove the sliver with tweezers option b rinse with water option c leave sliver and call help option d cover the eye with cloth here what is the meaning of sliver sliver means a long slender piece cut or a small or narrow portion get a foreign object in your eyes rinse with water but if it is does not wash out then seek medical attention do not rub and do not apply pressure to the eye gently apply a small coat compress to reduce pain and swelling place the eye pad or clean cloth over the injured eye or sliver inject eye ensure ambulance has been called 300 for the sliver 
in the i for the emergency they have to call a triple zero never attempt to remove the object yourself we have to take a emergency care for the sliver in the i means we have to take a emergency care but the first aid here we have to clean with water means option b rinse with water option b is the correct answer next we will move on to question number 100 what is most what is the most common reason and infant sudden cardiac deaths what is the most common reason for the infant sudden cardiac arrest or cardiac death we will see here option option a breathing problems option b injury option c cardiac abnormalities option d allergies here sudden cardiac death in childhood is typically caused by different heart conditions than those causing the majority of sudden cardiac death in adults in most common cause of sudden cardiac arrest in children or structural cardiac here the example for the structural cardiac abnormalities is cardiac heart diseases post operative repairs coronary artery anomalies these all are the example for the cardiac abnormalities so here most common cause and most common reason for the infant sudden cardiac death is cardiac abnormalities here option c is the correct answer here this is the last question in this video this is part 3 in part 1 part 2 we already discussed 60 question in part 1 also introduction of the first aid and cpr we already discussed related to the first aid kit here in this part 3 we discussed 40 question in detail explanation done next video we will discuss related to the child health nursing this is first aid related to the 100 question thank you for watching my video anybody watching first time my channel please subscribe my channel click on the bell icon for further notification stay tuned friends